Hey, what's up? I'm Michael, and this is a how-to tutorial on OBS Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to green screen and double green screen something. Now, this is very useful for people who want to make tutorials or do live streams, and they want to have their self on the screen. So let me get straight into it. Now, if I take this down, you can see I have my background up. So let's see. Look at my screen right quick. I have a sheet over my chair and a sheet hanging up that are different shades of green. So how will that affect green screen? And I will show you right now. Uh, if I come in here, what you want to do, you go on and get your your thing set up how you want it and get everything in place if you want to. Um, what I would suggest doing is if you're setting up your green screen for the first time, set up your lighting, get it right. Now, it, if you notice this right here, this is actually part of my microphone stand. That's not going to be green screened out. This is my my shock mount, actually. So that will not be green screened out. Just be aware that that's what that is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, right click on my webcam, and I'm going to hit filters. Now this is what it would look like. So how is that going to look here? Well, it looks pretty good. I do have Annie Alison around me, but it's not enough that's going to really bother it. So I can pull this down here and I can make all the tutorials or stream all I want. So how do you actually set that up though? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is actually take these out and I'm going to start from scratch and show you exactly how to do it. The first thing I'm going to do is you can either right click and hit add or hit the plus button. I'm going to hit chroma key. Now this one, I'm going to say chair. And then I'm going to make one more. And I'm going to say background, if I can type. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mute the background. And the chair I'm going to have here. When I say mute, I mean and make it, make it invisible. Um, so that's basically the same as soloing and muting a track in a, a digital audio workstation. Just that's why I use that terminology. So for the chair, you can see that with the regular green screen thing, uh, the normal chroma key that's set to green, that is pretty good. It'll take out your whole background and everything, but that's not what we want. We're going to actually pull all of these sliders down. We're going to come over here to custom. Okay. Now we're going to hit select color. Actually, I'll tell you what, let's pull this over here. So you can still see this part over here. Okay. Now we're going to hit select color. We're going to come down here, pick screen color. Let me find one that looks pretty good. Okay. There we go. Now what we're going to go for is to pull out just the chair and that's pretty good right there i'm going to pull this up just a little bit to smooth it out okay now how is that going to look with something like that well you can see my chair is gone so we can do two things now if you look at this you can see i still have a pretty bad look to it if i pull this out um it's not as bad but you can see that it, it doesn't look all that great so let me pull that back over and now i'm just gonna oops that was at 62 wasn't it i'm gonna go to background now and this one's on green let me show you what it looks like if it's on the green setting i can pull that and if i do this let's see here now, look at me. Oh no, I'm actually fading into the background myself. So what do we do about that? Well, you go back, you cut off the chair, and you pull everything all the way down, and you change this to custom. Okay, now same exact process. I'm going to pull this over here, pick screen color, and just pick one. Hit OK, and from there, we're going to pull that out. Now, we're going to cut this back on. You can tell that, that it took out the top one, 
You don't have to have very much going on. You can pull that over just a little bit. And that looks pretty good. Um, it does have a little bit more anti-aliasing going on, but how does that look? See, the anti-aliasing on my head looks a lot worse, but I think I know why. I think that this should be about 49. And you can see, if you look, there's a little bit of the chair left right there. So let's pull this up just a little bit. And I think that that's going to do it. Uh, let me look. That looks pretty good to me. So, okay, we're going to go with that. Just say, okay, well, I can deal with that. Why is it okay to deal with something like that? Well, if you're going to be making a full screen video, like my face is on this and that would be the full screen, just leave your green screen up. There's no reason that you have to have anything behind it if you don't really want to. Now, you can go in and put you a, a video behind you or whatever, and I've done that before, and I, I do that on my stream, actually. It's really nice to be able to do that. But, now here's, here's the thing. If you're going to have this, what you need to do, what you can do, minimize yourself a little bit or just pull yourself down into a corner and say you have you're going to do tutorials you're going to do a, a live stream you don't want to be taking up the whole thing you want people to be able to see your video game you want people to be able to see the program that you're using or whatever and if you look down here at me you cannot tell hardly at all that there's any anime listening at all going on so that is how you not only green screen but double green screen something and if let me just say it this way if you have four different green colors what i would do is start with the one that is closest to the camera and work my way back and green screen each of those out in a different layer and it should work out for you so there you go and i hope this has helped if it has give me a thumbs up uh let me know in the comments if you have any requests for more oops sorry you have any and that's going to stay down there, huh? If you have any requests for more videos on OBS or something like Video Studio or something, um, let me know and I will try my best to help you out. I'll see you later. Hey, I'm Michael. Thank you for watching my video. If you'd like to know or see more, I have links in the description and I have more video content over here. See you later.